Hey everybody, this is Pat with Brain Trust Interactive, and I wanted to show you today a quick tutorial on how to get data from a Google spreadsheet and send the information to your users in ChatFuel. So uh, just kind of a quick demo here. What I've got set up is, let's say um, I've got a client that has a food truck, and the food truck you know, drives around the city uh, every day, and they set up in different locations, and then they sell to people you know, during lunch or, or dinner or whatever, and then you know, they, update, uh, they would update their spreadsheet every day with where the location is going to be for that day. So let's say I'm a big fan of the food truck, and I want to find out where they're going to be today. So I want to type in the keyword lunch and let's see what happens and see when the uh, when the bot comes back with some information. So it's looking up the food truck information and there it says right there um, that's where they're going to be today at 12 o'clock. So uh, I better hurry and go and, and uh, find out where it's at and so I can actually map it and it'll pop up a Google uh, map for me and show me where it is and then I could get instructions on how to get there uh, to go eat at the food truck. So that would be very uh, something very uh, practical for say a client that uh, you know needs to be able to get the information to the user. So let's see how that actually is set up. So you've got a couple things that you can do in ChatFuel. Uh, you've got to have a block that posts to Zapier. You've got to have a Zapier zap that actually connects to a Google spreadsheet and looks up the data. And then you've got to use uh, the ChatFuel broadcast API to send the data back to the chat bot or the chat fuel user okay so let's walk through all those steps first off let's look at uh, the rule that I set up I set up a rule uh, it says uh, if, if the user types in hungry where location or lunch it goes to a block called the get truck location so the get truck location actually comes over here has just a simple text block and then all it does is it makes a post to Zapier. Now to set this zap up, you basically just come in, you create a new zap, and to get information from ChatFuel, you want to create a catch hook, and that's just standard inside Zapier, and the catch hook can actually get information from a post or a put or a get, you know, anything like a, like a form submission, okay? So uh, we come over here and we grab this this webhook here, okay? This is the URL that we need to post to from ChatFuel. So you'll notice that that is the actual URL that I post to. And then I'm also adding the ChatFuel user ID, the messenger ID, the first name, and the time zone. Okay? That's fantastic. So that's, that's what I'm posting right there. Uh, then uh, I even added here, just for the sake of the uh, demo here for the food truck, I'm adding the vendor time offset because I'm actually going to be searching my Google spreadsheet by a date. And so I need to be able to make sure I set the time properly. So that's a little more complex than you might need, but that's kind of how some of these things end up when you start creating uh, code for clients, okay? So this actually just posts to Zapier okay and we've got our first set our first step set up where it's going to catch the hook we can actually view the information that comes in so the uh, messenger id is my messenger id there's my first name here's my vendor offset i'm also passing in my time zone and then there's the uh, the chat fuel user id that i can use to pass data back to uh, the chat fuel uh, the back to the bot so it gives me the information so the next step in our zap is uh, I run a little bit of JavaScript on Zapier to actually format the date so I can look it up properly inside the Google spreadsheet. So here I'm using uh, the vendor time offset where I basically get the proper, uh, the proper date uh, based off my time zone. And then I actually format the date with a month, a day, and a year like this, okay? So that's all I need to do. I, I basically just create a quick variable that's going to allow me to look it up. Okay, so we've got that built, and then we come down to the Google spreadsheet. Okay, so I've got a Google spreadsheet. I want to do a lookup by a row, and then here are my options where uh, I create the uh, or, I, or I pick the the sheet name or the spreadsheet name, the worksheet, and then I want to look up the column. 
Now over here in my Google spreadsheet, our uh, food truck client would basically update this every day and they could add new rows however they want to uh, but they would add update with the street name the city the state the zip code the uh, when they're gonna be there when they're gonna leave and then of course here we go the date that they're going to actually be there so we're looking up uh, the information by the date so once we've got that information um, I run a, again I run a little bit of JavaScript because um, I need to format the address that comes out so I can use it in the Google Maps so I set up the address with the street the city the state the zip and then what I do is I format it with um, uh, plus signs instead of spaces so that it can be used in an actual link like you saw in the map link in the bot now this is the big part here where we actually post to um, post the data to chat fuel what we're going to do here is we're going to actually use the chat fuel broadcasting api so if you go to docs.chatfuel.com and you search for broadcasting api they have the information here everything you need to be able to create posts to your users this what this will do is it allows you to set user attributes and then tell the bot to actually trigger a block Okay, so we can set up uh, user attributes and we can fire off a particular block name or block ID and that's going to trigger uh, our post or our data uh, in Chatfield. Okay, so the uh, in the bot, when I got that information back, you'll see here that it's the, the display truck location block basically shows uh, Hungry, first name, of course it's going to be my name, come join us and it uses these truck uh, uses these uh, uh, attributes that I set up from the bot so it's giving me the address the date and the time and then I create a map link and of course this is a Google map link and then I'm using that uh, that address that I formatted in the zap uh, you know with you know basically with the, the the plus signs for the spaces and so this will actually open up a Google map like you saw in my demo so this post here comes uh, it basically you have to get your uh, your bot ID and you have to use the bot uh, the, the messenger ID from the user and you have to use your chat fuel token and then you have to uh, tell it what block to go to so to get this information the format here for for posting is uh, you got to go to the chat fuel uh, .com bots you have to pass the bot ID you have to pass the user ID and then you have to add your chat fuel token and then you have to tell it what block ID or block name to go to and then you can set up user attributes so to get your all your information for your chat bot your bot ID if you look up here in the URL your bot ID is the uh, the string right after the bot and then if I want to get the uh, the block ID the block ID is right after the structure so bot ID is this this is the block ID or I could actually use the the block name if I'm gonna you know post with the uh, the broadcasting API now to get your uh, broadcasting token you need to go to your configuration tab and you come down here to broadcasting API token that's already created you basically copy that and you can use it in Zapier okay so what I need to do is I need to come back to Zapier and I copy this entire string here and then I basically substitute all the information so I create the you know where uh, in, in the uh, I substitute all the the uh, sorry substitute the the different tags in the URL so basically this bot ID I would use the bot ID I would basically paste in my bot ID the user ID I would I would use from the zap as the user ID uh, I use the I add in the token from my configuration tab in chat fuel my broadcasting token and then the block name I would actually use um, what I used was the uh, the block ID and again if I come back into the display the truck location oops 
that's the block ID. So, and then I can set up my user attributes. So let's look and see how that works, okay? So here it is, chatfuel.com, here's the bot ID, and I'm using the messenger ID from that I got from step one in that catch uh, hook. Then I got my chatfuel token, then I have my block ID, which is here, and then what I'm doing is I'm sending the data. You have to t tell it to, to post as a JSON post. Then you can set truck time, truck date, map link, which is that formatted uh, address that I've got, the truck time too, which is the end date, and the truck address. So all this is coming from the Google Sheet, and then I've got that especially formatted information there. And then that's it. You basically tell it to, uh, to post and it will actually post that information to your chatbot and we can see how it works again. So let's go ahead and test it again. I want to send a message and type in lunch. Oh. And again, you can see that it's actually telling me, hold on, let me get the location. And then there it is. You can see that it's actually displaying everything like it should in that block. That's basically how you uh, post data back and forth between a Google spreadsheet and a chat fuel bot. And uh, it's yes, it's a little more complex than normal, but <laughs> you know, guys, it'll, it'll actually work. And if you can master that for your clients, you can do just about anything with the bot. All right, so uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know.